we made a great many socks, so maybe a million a week in many style sizes and colors of all types, from baby socks to boot socks. The mill was run by my grandfather, by my father, and by me for about 30 years each. If they could get someone to sign for them, they could get out. They could come to this country. This was their chance to get out. And they knew he was helping them, could help them get out. And these same people arrived in my front hall on Fairmont Drive. And they were lost. They couldn't speak any English. They were drab. Uh, they were homeless. And their sin had been to be a Jew in a world that had gone crazy. This is the story of the Mays. My father, Dan May, was born in Nashville, 1898, and my mother, Dorothy Fischel May, was born in 1903 in Nashville. My name is Joseph L. May. Everybody calls me Jack. My sister is Elizabeth, and uh, she's universally called Betsy, and sometimes Betty Boop. To really get the story of the May family, you have to go back to its origins in Germany. Eldest son, primogenitor, I expect, was Lacerman May, who had 12 children. The fourth boy in this large family was Jacob May. At age 18, he decided he did not have a future in Germany. He, uh, landed in Castle Garden, which is at the tip of Manhattan in 1879. I think the only requirements for immigration coming into the country was uh, you had to pay two dollars and, and not have glaucoma. Started off as a peddler, uh, uh, carrying a line of uh, wares up in uh, the wilds of New Hampshire settled in Laconia, New Hampshire, worked in the knitting industry there. And he got the bright idea of taking the hosiery samples into the jobbers in Boston and New York and, and selling for the hosiery mills at the same time he was picking up his wares. So he made money going both ways. My father would make frequent trips to Boston and New York to buy merchandise, where he met my mother and was married in the latter city. He married a, uh, the daughter of a, another German immigrant, Rebecca Weingarten. She was a real American, a native, born in the United States. Rebecca, parenthetically, walked across the Brooklyn Bridge the day it opened. Mother was good looking in the 19th century idea of good looks. I remember her as a jolly person, thoroughly committed to helping her husband succeed in business. My two older brothers were born in Laconia, Mortimer in 1892 and Abraham in 1895. Jacob responded to an ad for uh, uh, a uh, opportunity to use prison labor to uh, open, uh, to use to start a prison industry in Tennessee, was the successful bidder on that. He came to Nashville in 1895. Well, they set up the, the, the mill inside the walls of the penitentiary. After two years inside the walls, <clears throat> they were shut down and the prisoners went to making license plates. I was born on Sunday, December 25th, 1898, in the midst of one of Nashville's coldest winters. The middle child, Abe, died of meningitis. Suddenly, he got ill and he got a fever, and four days later, he was dead. She died two days after my 13th birthday. On December 27, 1911, she lived but a brief 58 years. 
I did not know mother well. He lost a brother uh, uh, at a young age who he didn't remember. His mother died uh, when he was uh, a young boy. I think he, I think he missed some of that warmth that a mother could have. My father was largely raised by his brother Mortimer, who took care of him at six years older. Mortimer was my constant companion throughout my childhood. 